Hello everyone, it's Girl in Minecraft. Welcome to the birthday of the quads. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Welcome to season 8. Or generation 8, I guess. <laughs> so, basically, it's the day that uh, Lilac's gonna age up and then I'm gonna have her go to university. I'm gonna have her take her aptitude test. I don't know what I'm gonna have her major in yet. I... I haven't decided on a career, like, path for her. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> but, um, Puzzle and Gwendolyn are woohooing. They are at the end of their age stage here. They didn't end up passing, thankfully. But, uh, oh, you, you didn't finish your food. Finish your food. But, uh, my girl here just made a- oh, there we go. Having their birthdays. I was wondering when they were gonna have their birthdays. It's 10 p.m. <laughs> Looking sideways and cross-eyed and everything. <laughs> a little bit out of frame. There we go. Yay! All right, should we get to choose a trait? She had a good grade in school. Oh, okay, I, I hate absent-minded, like, with a passion. It's the only trait that I will absolutely not accept, unless it's just automatically applied. So I'm gonna reroll again. All right, she gets bookworm. Yeah, I just, I cannot do absent-minded. It's just, no. Okay, let's see. What trade or what career should we have her do? She could easily become an author uh, while raising kids. Um, let's see. Star news actor, home design hotshot. Let's see. She could. Oh, oh, okay. I also have something else to tell you guys. So, I am going to have her become a witch. And I had her make the potion to, to, uh, I forget, I think it's like witch's brew or something. But it's gonna make her into a witch. So, we could do something witch related. Um, let's see. I think there's one that's like, cure 12 different transformed sims using excuse me using sunlight um i don't know if oh oh i didn't finish reading it <laughs> sunlight charm or potent cure elixir we could do the elixir um i don't know how much magic like how much skill she needs to use the sunlight charm uh, I haven't really gotten very deep into the witch, um, supernatural trait, so I don't know how far she would have to go for that. Mm. Are there any other ones relating to witching? Hmm... Turn 10 different sims into a zombie using the reanimation ritual or a potent zombification elixir. Hmm. I'm actually curious about this one. I've never done it before. For a zombie master, there's no better friend than a staggering brain craving zombie. They're just so cute. For, but for other sims, there's nothing more terrifying than seeing a rent relentless zombie off in the distance. To be a zombie master is to accept responsibility in the event of a zombie apocalypse. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's have her become a zombie master. <laughs> like, her outfit is, uh, terribly appropriate. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of having her mo move to, uh, one of the supernatural towns as well. Um, that's what I've been thinking of, like, having her do, but, um, obviously... She's gonna have to go to university first and find her true love. It's not like she needs like skills or anything for Muse University. University. Currently, she has 
to charisma. She needs more like friendships for more skill. Uh, she's maxed out on cooking. She has a couple. Uh, we dipped a little into fishing. Uh, maxed gardening. She's got level six. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, she's got level six in handiness. She's got mastered logic. She's got a couple flower arranging skills, a couple painting skills, writing. She's level 8. I was just working on that one. That was my most recent one. And then she's almost mastered alchemy. Um, I might top that one off maybe later, but I'm not like in a rush to finish the alchemy. Um, actually, maybe I should just because I'm doing the zombie route. So if we're going to make zombies, we might as well have the most skill we can. Um, you could do Great Explorer or something. <laughs> Alright, and lastly is Lauren. Alright. So I don't think we have an aptitude test. I'm gonna have to purchase one. And I don't remember where it comes from. Um, entertainment? Miscellaneous. Ah, here it is. Okay, I had a feeling it was in there. So I'll get her an aptitude test taken. She'll find out what she wants to do. And we'll just pick pick a random thing. Let's see. Freebies. Let's guess the daredevil trait. Yeah, they had a kind of a bad time with their grades because, uh, well, except for her. <laughs> But they all kind of had a bad time with their grades because, unfortunately, this their school attendance got glitched or something. Because uh, when I after the winter was over, they it said they didn't. It just said they were at a snow day, and it was like it was like spring, and they were on a snow day. It was a bit weird. So I don't know. I just have you guys eat some food. There we go. Um. Eat your food. You didn't finish it. I'm gonna have her eat, finish her food as well. You guys having problems? Is the frid fridge glitched again or something? Alright. Let's see what we can do. So she got a couple little flags. All right. <laughs> so we got cooking, gardening, and logic. Alchemy and writing. Those are our highest skills. Okay. A 1770 out of 2400 earned a partial scholarship. She'll receive a thousand simoleons per term the next time she enrolls. Hmm. Okay, so she's got a really good score for technology, science and medicine, fine arts. Pretty good for communications if she wanted to do that. Um, let's see, what careers would she be looking at for technology? So she'd be looking at law enforcement or military, medical or science, or culinary music and film. Those are her strongest ones. And then she could do journalism, political, or fortune teller. Um, maybe she'll do science and medicine I guess because I know I know those will be easy for her yeah we'll take the opportunity because I do want to enroll her so go ahead and finish up your food all right oh and um some things that happened I'm woohooing with an occult wow well, no she woohooed with her imaginary friend <laughs> big drama Anyways, um, what am I saying? Anyways, so, um, Puzzle and Gwendolyn just had their second year anniversary, like, two days ago, and then Puzzle went to work yesterday, and he had his two-year anniversary at his job, so those are some cool milestones for them.
I are, are you still hungry? Did you like not even eat? I'm so confused. Oh, he finished her food, I guess. He finished Lilac's food. Alright, she's going to bed. Oh yeah, I don't know when they're gonna pass. They might pass in this part. I'm not sure. But uh it's gonna be soon, I feel like, because they're pretty pretty past their like age limit. I think my I wanna say it's like 90, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, 90 sim days, and they're at 93 or 94? 94, 94 now. Yep. Yeah, just use the bathroom and go to bed. No big deal, I'm getting clean. But uh, I'm gonna do some makeovers, and I'll skip to the morning, and then Lilac is gonna go head off to university. And then when she gets done with university, she's just gonna go and uh, move to another town and if she met somebody in at university like I'm kind of hoping she will then we'll bring them over and get married if not then she'll just have to find somebody in her new town but anyways I'll see you guys in the morning so it is the morning um, I didn't like give them full makeovers but I uh, fixed Lauren he had pigtails <laughs> so I fixed his hair and then I just kind of left them because I'm not going to be playing with any of them um, once she gets done with university. So yeah, I gave Lilac a whole makeover. Show you guys her outfits. So just come on down here, girl. So change into your everyday. And like walk over here. <laughs> there we go. Why can't you be normal? Look forward. There we go. <laughs> so this is her everyday outfit. Gave her. I decided to give her glasses. Don't really change it up very often. So <laughs> glasses. She's got kind of shoulder length hair. Got this little cute outfit. Uh, a bracelet, and she's got these boots. Pretty simple outfit. Nothing crazy. And then. She's got a lot of other fun outfits, so let's do so her formal wear. I'll just show them all to you guys. You saw her sleepwear. Um, her athletic isn't anything crazy, but I'll show you that. Swimwear and outerwear, and then, yeah. We'll switch her back to every day, so... <laughs> this is her formal wear. She's got her wedding dress. I gave her a little ring, some green nails, and she's got pearl. She's got matching earrings and necklace. You can't see the earrings, but yeah. This is her her uh, athletic wear. She's got a little jacket, shorts, you know, tennis shoes, socks. This is her swimwear. It's kind of it's kind of hippie looking. Uh but yeah. That's her swimwear. And this is her wait, I didn't put those gloves on her. What is that? I don't know. She's wearing gloves for some reason, but uh yeah, I gave her a little beanie. She's got a little sweater dress with jeans, jean leggings, denim leggings, and then uh boots and her bracelet, of course. All right, let's change her back into her everyday. I'm actually going to have her take a shower. Just get her all ready for university. Oh yeah, I guess she won't need to go to the bathroom, but let's have some... Let's see, let's have some crips before you leave. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that's right, it's graduation day. I guess we're going to go graduate and starve. Maybe after graduation we'll go and go out to eat or something. Aww, isn't she cute with her little glasses and her graduation outfit? Her robes. God, Gwendolyn's form wear or whatever she's wearing is kind of crazy. Thought I set her formal wear, but I don't know. She just wears whatever she wants. 
That's definitely not his formal wear. I don't know. <laughs> of course they take both shitty little VW Golf instead of the bigger SUV. I guess they have the same amount of seats, so it doesn't really matter. Somebody's sitting on someone's lap, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, here we are, graduation day for the quads. It's the send off, it's the final four kids left in the family. Oh my gosh, this must be pretty silly, pretty crazy for Gwendolyn and Puzzle. I don't know why I said silly. Something silly about graduating. <laughs> Ignore call. He needs to uh, take deep breaths as well. But oh my gosh. Oh, and Landon has Landon has more celebrity stars than his mom. He has four. I think it was because he played the piano and everyone was watching him. Um, I think Lilac and Lauren have two. Lauren has three. Gwendolyn has three. Puzzle has three. Yeah. Thankfully, Lilac came out with the least celebrity points. I wish I could, like, get rid of them somehow, but... I mean, I can opt out my, like, household from them, I guess, but... Yay, Lauren graduated with from City Hall with honor. Her classmates have voted her most likely to save the world. The future is bright for this young graduate. Nice. I feel like that's really good. <laughs> All right, so we'll get a little picture of her tossing her diploma. A classic. Maybe Puzzle will give her a hug. Let me change him into his... Mm, oh, it must be his formal wear. Interesting. Uh, Change into your career outfit. It's a little more formal. And then can you give her a hug? I don't remember if they have a good relationship. A farewell hug? Okay, that works. Get out of here, paparazzi. Oh, the little sad face. Oh, that's so cute. He's all like emotional. This random girl staring at us. Actually, it might be Lauren. <laughs> okay, whatever. Oh, the hug. That might be my thumbnail. Who is that? Is that is Amanda. Okay, that's her sister. There's Lauren. Oh, honey. Okay, you give you give her a farewell hug too. Now I want you. I want you to do it as well. <laughs> change into your uh, change into your everyday. I guess. I guess I didn't set their formal wear. That was my bad. Farewell hug. Oh God, this guy kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> Aww. And puzzle smiling. Cute. Okay. It's totally gonna be my thumbnail. Yep, we're gonna go... <laughs> There's Amber too. We're gonna go and uh, send her to university now, I think. I guess she's starving, but she can eat when she gets there. Take the VW Golf, of course. That, I think I said it as her preferred vehicle. So... Um... I don't remember how to go to university. I think it's... Here it is. Enroll in university. Here she goes. Alright. Okay, so what are we gonna have her do? I think I was gonna do science and medicine. And then let's do... Twelve credits, I guess? I don't know. Um... Let's do one term. I'm not gonna have her been there for very long. Okay. Wanna go to university? Yep. 
Okay, she's gonna go. She's earned a hundred simoleons to pay for tuition. Okay. Lawrence graduated. Lorraine. Most likely to be a rock star for Landon. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Lila graduated with highest honor. She also has been selected to class valedictorian because of her outstanding school. Oh, okay. So she got valedictorian. Nice. Her classmates voted her most likely to get arrested. The future is bright. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Lauren got most likely to save the world. He didn't get any honors. Um, and he got most likely to be a rock star, which honestly is pretty valid. He's been pianoing his whole life. He's level 8 piano. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I'm not sure why Puzzle's taking a taxi. Oh, seeing student off, okay. Wait, are we going home first or something? Oh, my bad. I would have just sent them home if I'd known. <laughs> okay. Love that. Classic. <laughs> Okay, bye guys. We're gonna be gone when we come back from graduated from school, so it's the last, well, one of the last times we'll be seeing the house. We'll probably see it one more time, get our stuff. We gotta get all the paintings and things off the walls um, before we leave. Get all the prom photos and stuff so we can take them with us by a boat. What do you think, we're rich or something? <laughs> I guess we do have 152 simoleons. Alright, I'm gonna save, and then uh, we'll meet her when she gets to university. Alright. University. Should we live in a house, or should we live in a dorm? Ah, uh, obviously a dorm. She's got to meet people. So we can't live in the freaking sorority. Gotta live. Yeah, we can't live there. We gotta live. Actually, we could. We could live in a sorority and then we could always like check on the frat house, right? I've actually never lived in the sorority. <laughs> I've always just picked a dorm or rented a house. Got some nice cars. Kinda wanna try it. Hey, you know what? Let's do it. I don't I didn't see what the rent was. <laughs> I glazed over it. It's fine. I'm sure we can afford it. Parents have a lot of money. Oh wait, there's a dude. Alright, welcome to university. Check out the academics panel to monitor your academic progress during the term. And don't forget to check your class schedule so you're not tardy to your first class. Is your days approaching? Oh, we got some script errors. Great. Um, Alright, let's see. So our class schedule. Today is Sunday. We won't have anything until tomorrow, but tomorrow we'll have 8 a.m to 10, 4 p.m. to 6. All right. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We got some more script errors. I'll just let those all play out. All right, cool. Let's lock in the best bedroom, obviously, because we are going to be the first to get dibs. Lock for everyone but myself. <laughs> Get the nicest room. It comes with a laptop. Sick. I mean, it doesn't matter because we have a, a better computer. We've got the old hollow computer and it reorganized my inventory, which is annoying, but whatever. Mm. Okay. Ooh, we even got a fish bowl. Well, we didn't bring any fish, but she has like two fishing skills. <laughs> Can we fish in the. No. <laughs> she could practice snorkeling. She actually like did a little snorkeling. But, uh, yeah, nothing crazy. 
Make preferred vehicle. Ooh. Let's make the this our preferred vehicle. Heck yeah. Someone else could take the golf. Does she still have it? Uh oh, she didn't bring it. Okay, that's fine. Arrive. Hey, we arrived. Alright, who do we live here with? Why why do we live at the sorority with two old people? This is broken. <laughs> it's been a while since I went to uh, universities, <laughs> as you can tell. I feel like it's pretty obvious that uh, I'm rusty at this. So is this the frat house right here? Are there like actually any guys here? Or is it all screwed up? That was broken. Okay, I don't know. Uh, they'll show up, I think, to the student union, so <laughs> we'll meet some people either way. Why don't you go... Well, she needs social already. Jeez. Let's see. Who does she know? Just her sorority buds. The old man and the... Oh. Okay. They're all moving in. They're all old. What is going on? Oh my gosh, this is too funny. Okay, well, all of her roommates are old people. Let's see, we've got one young guy here. Herbert. <laughs> got Barbara. Alright, let's just like meet some people. Amusing greet. She's a buckworm. Yeah, she can read fast. Tisha, Alana, Farah. Are these all old people? Do we just move into the senior citizen's house? They're invisible too, so. Oh, oh, there she is. Okay. So we got one girl. I hear a fairy. Oh, it's you. Okay. Ah, there's fairy. Okay. And then Maritza is an old person. Cool. Okay, so we have two young people in the sorority and a dude. Not sure why there's a dude in the sorority, but, you know, I guess. What do I know? <laughs> Uh, get to know. Let's just kind of like get some social. Ask about her age. Ask what her sign is. Her alma mater. Hey, the the mascot, Andy. <laughs> Let's of course get to know the mascot. No, no, we gotta give him a charming introduction. I got a lot of invisible portraits. My game is loading in very slowly for some reason. Like all the Sims. It's taking its sweet time. Oh, she's only one day older. And they have compatible signs. Nice. I don't think she's increased her charisma. Yeah. Hey, he's got an attraction. She's got an attraction too. Joke about professors. Show her an internet cat or show him an internet cat video. Can we talk about like Can we do the Shaka Bra, I guess? Can't do the mascot dance. Yeah, go to the university meet and greet. We're literally here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Are there like anybody else here that's like youthful? Rather not marry someone who's a senior citizen who will die before we ever make an heir. Man, we might not have much luck here at university. We might just uh, have to go home. Meet somebody at home. Oh, he's a bookworm as well. That's pretty cool. Paparazzi's actually cute. Hold on. 
Where is he? Oh, he's invisible. Just like everyone else in this town. He's cute. What's this? Lilac has made enough acquaintance to complete the celebrity skill challenge. Oh, really? Well, she was already a celebrity. Before that, who's this? Sydney Parks. Oh, yeah, okay. You a young adult or an adult? I think. I'm not sure. I don't remember if. Because, like, I don't think young adults have, like, the face at lines. <laughs> you might be an adult. Uh, let's keep talking to my dude. Let's see here. Eat candy. High fry. High thrive. Talk about art. Is she artsy or is that him? Oh, she's artsy. Ask if single. Ask sign. Oh, it was an awkward high five. Talk about books. Okay, so mascot dude is here. He's got blonde hair. And he looks like he has like greenish eyes, like her dad. Mm. Hopefully that's not going to pose a problem if we did marry him, but... Oh, is he family oriented? <gasps> what? Oh shoot! I totally real just realized. Um, I automatically picked a trait for her. Um, instead of selecting dislikes children, she has to have that trait for this challenge. Let's see. Do I still have my cheats on? Um, there we go. Modified traits. Um, let's see. She got, it was bookworm that she got? Was it bookworm? Alright, we have to pick dislikes children, unfortunately. Which means they're going to have a trait incompatibility. All right, they have compatible signs. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is the paparazzi learning. It's pretty funny. All right, talk about books. Um, get to know. Let's try and like become friends, I guess. And then we can just kind of work on the relationship and you know, see where it goes. They could just end up being friends. They could end up being more. I don't know. We'll throw some jokes his way. All right, she's got some level three charisma. Oh, he is actually our friend now, so that's pretty cool. Um, we already asked him if he was single. He's single. Yeah, I think the bookworm trait was the one. The trait was the one that she got randomized. If it, I'll check again. But if it's it's not, then I'll switch out whatever trait it was for dislike children, and then I'll put the bookworm trait back if that was already there. Cause I don't remember. I already forgot which one she got when I randomized. Who are you? Okay, he's okay. I think. He might be an adult as well. Jonathan Childress. Um, let's introduce ourselves to him and see if we can ask him maybe his age. Oh, I forgot to ask the other guy what his age was. But I know he's a young adult, at least. Well, 
Let's say Ashaka Bra. Let's talk about university. Ask if single. Ask his sign. Let's see. Oops. Mm. I can't seem to ask him what his age is. We'll just get to know him a little bit, maybe. Maybe we can ask him out in a group later or something. Talk about art. See if he likes art. Get to know him. Single. Okay. He likes her skills. She's got compatible signs. Graduated from military school. Oh, okay. And they're friends already. Alright. Is there any way we can ask him what his age is? Mm, okay. I don't know. I mean, even if he is an adult, it's fine. It's just... She'd have to remarry if he died before... I mean, she wouldn't have to remarry, I guess. She could still have babies. But, you know. Oh, he's flirting with us now. <laughs> Not that I want to get involved with a paparazzi. But, um, yeah. Maybe we'll ask him out on a group later or something when he's not working and we'll try- oops, jeez. We'll try and uh, find out his age. And then we'll just stay friends if he's an adult and if he's a young adult we might give him a chance, you know? If they- oh, they have the good trait, okay. We learned he's good and we learned the other guy is family oriented and bookworm. Family oriented is a really good trait. Of course she went to the same stall. Uh, but yeah, that's a really good trait for him to have. We like that. Good, good. Alright, well, I guess... Oh, that's that guy, the paparazzi guy. I saw him and I was like, who's that young man? Um, hmm. We could head over... Oh, we could head over to... Maybe... Oh, actually, let's go to the Bolarama and see if there's anybody there. She really needs to eat something. There, I think there's a food stand there we can have her eat. I like how she swiped the VFN compensator, though. <laughs> it's pretty sick. Uh, or anyways, we're gonna go over there, have some food, and if there's no one else that she can meet, I'm probably just gonna end this part. It's been a bit long, but I think it's always cool to make the first part a little longer. Alright, so we do have some guys here. We've got Pedro... And then we've got Alan, who's making a stinky face. Um, who else? Who else? Just looking for people that could be potential husbandos. Alright, and there's nobody up on the roof. Okay, well, um, I think I'm just gonna end the part here. Um, maybe I'll have her meet some of these people, and I don't know if I'll like, get to know them or not, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for joining me on her first day of adulthood and her graduating and heading off to college all in one day. She's been busy in her first day of adulthood, but I will see you guys next time, and we will continue this generation. So, yeah, <laughs> welcome to Generation 8, and, oh, I hope she has better luck than her parents, because they had, like, 18 kids. <laughs> so... Yeah, we will see. Anyways, bye.